Hi, I'm Laura Hoy for Benzinga, and here's a look at what you can expect from the markets today, Wednesday, October 16th. With just two days to go until the U.S. budget deadline, House leaders were unable to bring a GOP deal to the floor for a vote on Tuesday. Fitch Ratings has warned that it could cut the U.S.'s AAA credit rating, saying political brinkmanship has put the nation's creditworthiness in question. A meeting between German Chancellor Angela Merkel and the Greens Party ended with no hope of the two sides forming a coalition. With the Green Party out of the picture, that leaves Angela Merkel with the Social Democrats as her only option for a coalition partner. On Tuesday, Twitter announced that it's preparing to list on the New York Stock Exchange. The company is expected to begin its investor roadshow on October 28th before its shares hit the market in mid-November. Italy's Prime Minister Enrico Letta announced that the country's new 2014 budget is a significant step in the right direction. The budget is expected to take Italy's fiscal gap from 3% down to 2.5%. The Federal Reserve's Richard Fisher told Reuters on Tuesday that the central bank would likely elect to continue with its bond buying program at its October 29th and 30th policy meeting. Fisher has been a longtime critic of the stimulus program, however he admitted that even he would have trouble justifying a taper at this point in time. Asian markets were mostly lower with the U.S. debt deadline approaching. China's Shanghai Composite was down by 1.81% and the Shenzhen Composite lost 2.37%. The Hang Seng Index was down by 0.46% but the Japanese Nikkei was up by 0.18%. European markets were down across the board, the UK's FTSE lost 0.44% and the Eurozone stock 600 was down by 0.40%. France's CAC 40 was down by 0.69% and the Spanish IBEX lost 0.20%. Energy futures were quiet on Wednesday, Brent futures were down by 0.08% and WTI futures were up by 0.09%. Gold gained 0.20%, but silver was down by 0.15%. Industrial metals were lower, with aluminum losing the most, down 1.12%. In currency markets, the euro to dollar ratio was mostly flat at $1.35. The pound gained 0.19% against the dollar, but the yen lost out against the greenback, down 0.21%. Several major companies are expected to release earnings today, including eBay, PepsiCo, Bank of America, and American Express. On Tuesday's economic calendar, we're expecting to see U.S. CPI, Eurozone CPI, the Eurozone trade balance, and the British unemployment rate. And that's it for Wednesday's Market Primer. I'm Laura Hoy for Benzingo, wishing all of you good luck on your midweek trades.